he knew something was wrong because usually he doesn't meow at the window. It just was so loud and we would have neighbors texting us. What's going on? Like we hear a cat outside in your yard. We were like, oh my God. We knew that there was a feral mom who had had kittens and they had managed to catch all of them except two. I was worried because it was the end of fall and soon snow would arrive, but thank goodness rescuers came in. We went out to join our neighbor, Sarah, and we just brought out all the cat food we had. They came right up to her because they were just so hungry. We just fed them for a long time, got them to trust us, and then very slowly, Sarah got one of the cats into the carrier. Incredible. <laughs> but the problem was the second kitten was just really shy. We tried for a couple hours and he just wouldn't come. So we were like, okay, let's just come back tomorrow. We just weren't able to get him to trust us. So we decided to try some traps to see if he would come inside. The next morning we went back and all the traps were empty, except for one trap. They caught a possum in one of their traps. So yeah, we still weren't able to catch him because he was a little escape artist. It really reminded us of Lupin, a famous French character who's always tricking everyone. And so we decided to call him Lupin. The fourth day, we brought out a drop trap, which lets you sit further away. We took shifts, all the neighbors were coming out and looking for sightings of him. When we realized he was right there, they just let the trap down and he was caught. Did you catch a second one? You guys saw two. There's two in there, we caught the second one. That's so cool. It was amazing. You're so cute. They brought Lupin back to be with Sister Waffles. He wants breakfast. It took him a little longer to get comfortable with everyone, but he saw his sister trusting them. She sounds like an excavator. So slowly, over a couple months, he decided to trust us. Around Christmas and Hanukkah time, we decided to surprise the kids. What do they say? Read it out loud. Has officially adopted Waffles and has welcomed her into the forever home. What do you think it means? Oh, I'm going to adopt the kitten. Oh, uh, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing in my life. She was so excited that we saved this kitten. They are totally my family. I personally love them a lot, even more than I like chocolate. It just seemed so sweet because it was sort of like Bebo saved them. It was really amazing to see this terrified cat so excited to see Bebo and play with him. That was just really special to see them come together at the end. Seeing them snuggled up together on that couch under the window where everything started, it just was so special. It was like it really came full circle. 